In this video, we are on Highway 80 in southeastern Arizona, visiting a monument to the surrender of arguably the most famous Native American in American history. While traveling eastbound on Highway 80, we pass through the very small town of Apache, Arizona. Definitely not to be confused with Apache Junction, which is near Phoenix. Almost immediately after leaving the town, you come across a small, blink and you'll miss it rest stop that houses a monument to the surrender of Geronimo, which occurred somewhat near here in September 1886. At the rest stop you'll find two picnic tables, a shade canopy, and this stone monument that was erected in 1934 to commemorate Geronimo's surrender, which really signified the end of an era in American history. While nowadays Geronimo is mostly seen as a sympathetic character, to the Americans and Mexicans of the 1870s and 1880s, he was the era's biggest villain, and his surrender made national front page news across the United States. Geronimo was a member of the Bedholm Kohi Band of Apache Indians, and was born in 1829. In 1851, while he was away, a Mexican militia attacked Geronimo's camp, slaughtering the inhabitants, including Geronimo's mother, wife, and three children. That event left Geronimo with a lifelong hatred of Mexicans, and he often killed them indiscriminately. And of course, Geronimo conducted raids on both sides of the border, which led to clashes with the United States military as well. Geronimo's band became one of the last major forces of independent Native American warriors who refused to accept the United States occupation of the American West. Towards the end, despite a manhunt featuring thousands of Mexican and American soldiers, Geronimo's band evaded capture for more than a year. Greatly outnumbered and with resources dwindling, finally on September 4, 1886, Geronimo surrendered to General Nelson A. Miles in Skeleton Canyon, which is located about 8 miles away from the monument. The plaque on the monument unfortunately does have several issues. First, it states that Geronimo was the last Apache chieftain. While he did lead a band of warriors, he was never a chief. It also lists the date of Geronimo's surrender as September 6, 1886, when it actually happened on September 4th. You would think they would have had somebody double check the dates before putting them on a plaque, but I guess not. Located behind the rest stop, we also found this survey marker. On one of the picnic tables at the rest stop, someone has pasted a drawing of Geronimo that's based on a famous picture of him. This photo was taken in 1887, a year after his surrender. Sadly, Geronimo lived the rest of his life as a prisoner of war. On his deathbed in February 1909, he confessed to his nephew that he regretted his decision to surrender. His last words were reportedly, I should have never surrendered. I should have fought until I was the very last man alive. He is buried in Fort Sill, Oklahoma, in the Beef Creek Apache Cemetery. So that's our look at the Geronimo Surrender Monument on Highway 80 in Arizona. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.